Welcome to another episode of Math Made Simple. I'm Freda and I'm a math specialist here at the Pig Lab. In this video, I'll be analyzing a past year examination question on the topic of fractions. I've also prepared this question for you to download for free by clicking a link in the description box below. So let's get started. Now let's take a look at this question. There were 252 more cars than motorcycles in a car park. Let's identify our keywords here. Do you think that car park is a keyword here? Of course not, right? Now car park is just a location for cars and motorcycles, which are all vehicles, to park at. Okay, it doesn't mean that this is a keyword. What exactly are we comparing? Now the word 252 more tells you that we are comparing between two items here. What are the two items here? They are, firstly, our cars and secondly, our motorcycles. So the phrase 252 more cars than motorcycles tells you that there was a difference. And what is the difference? There was a difference of 252 cars as compared to motorcycles. So let's just put this information here first. Difference is equals to 252. In the second sentence, what do we see? One quarter of the number of cars was equal to three-fifth the number of motorcycles. Whenever we see one fraction of something is equal to another fraction of something else. Most of you in school, you will learn that this is called the equal concept or you may have heard your teacher call this the numerator the same concept. So what exactly is this concept? Now, whenever we see that one fraction of something, which in this case are cars, is equal to another fraction of another item, which in this case would be motorcycles, this is what we are going to do. Because these two fractions are equal, we are going to come up with an equation. So one quarter of the cars is equal to three fifths of the motorcycles. C for cars, M for motorcycles. Okay? Now, the next thing that we need to do, because this is called the numerator, the same concept, let's analyze the two numerators. I have one on my first fraction and three on my second fraction. How can we make both of them the same number? Now, do you think that I can multiply two and two to make it six out of 10 of the motorcycles? Can it be this way? Hmm, I'm trying to make one and three both the same number. But do you realize that six is even further to one as compared to three? So of course, this is not going to work out. So I'm going to erase the times two and the times two here. Now let's look at the other fraction instead. We have one quarter of cars is equals to three fifths of motorcycles. How can I make one and three the same? Let me teach you a trick. Okay, this is called finding the lowest common multiple. So the lowest common multiple of one and three, we can list down, right? One, two, three, three, six, nine. Okay, you realize that both of them have the number three. So in this case, I will keep 3 and instead of multiplying anything to 3, I'm going to multiply 1 by 3. Okay, so I'm going to be left with 3 quarter of cars is equal to 3 fifth of motorcycles. Is this correct? What do you notice? 1 quarter of the cars is supposed to be equal to 3 fifth of the motorcycles. In the bottom, 3 quarter of the cars is equal to 3 fifth of the motorcycles. This information doesn't tell you, right? Now, 1 quarter is not the same as 3 quarter. So, remember that whatever you do to your numerator, you have to do the same to your denominator. So, instead of just multiplying 3 to the numerator, we have to do it to the denominator as well. Multiply by 3, our 4 here will be 4 times 3 instead, which is 12. So, 3 out of 12 of the cars is equal to 3 fifth of the motorcycles. Let's take a look at our numerators now. Are they the same? Yes, they are the same, but we are not done. Now, when you have the numerators that are equal to each other, remember, the denominator tells you something very important. What does the denominator tell you? The denominator essentially tells you about the total number of units that each of the vehicles have. Okay, so in this case, let's come up with a summary. Since the denominator of the cars is 12, that means that cars would have 12 units. Okay, what about for the motorcycles? Since the denominator of the motorcycles is 5, motorcycles would have a total of 5 units. Okay, how then do we move on from here? 
Now, if you look at the third sentence, the sentence says, How many cars and motorcycles were there all together? So immediately, they have thrown you a question. But we don't even know what is one unit. How can we even find the number of cars and motorcycles? If you recall, in sentence number one, there were 252 more cars than motorcycles in a car park. We have not made use of this information, which is a difference of 252. Now, where is this difference in terms of the units? If you look at my units, I have 12 units of cars and 5 units of motorcycles. What is the difference in terms of units? The difference is equals to 12 units minus 5 units, which is, yes, if you have gotten 7 units, you are correct. Okay, so these 7 units corresponds to the 252 more cars than motorcycles. So from here, we can come up with an equation where 7 units is equals to 252. Now, if 7 units is equals to 252, how do I find what is 1 unit? We would take 252 divided by 7 to give us 36. If you have gotten 36, good job. Now, many of me's radar students, when they reach 1 unit, they will be so happy that they just write answer equals to 36. However, this is wrong. Why? Because if you look at a question, okay, you have actually not answered the question. Now, the question is asking how many cars and motorcycles were there all together? What does this word all together mean? All together means that we are looking for the total. Have we found the total? No, we have not found the total. So, we cannot just find out one unit and put down 36, okay? So, we are going to erase this answer. From this question, we have already found out what is one unit, which is 36. But because we are looking for the total, we have to go back to our number of cars and motorcycles in terms of units. How can we find the total number of units here? The total number of units is very easy. We can use 12 units plus 5 units to give us 17 units. And since we have already found what is 1 unit, 1 unit, as we have found, is 36. So 17 units would be 17 times 36 to give us a total of 612. So have we found our answer? Yes, we did. We have found that the total is equal to 612. So can we just put down 612 and leave this as our final answer? What is the question asking for? We are talking about cars and motorcycles, which means that we are talking about vehicles. So since we are talking about vehicles, we have to put down that there are a total of 612 vehicles, right? We are not talking about apples. We are not talking about pears. We are talking specifically about cars and motorcycles, which they are all fall under vehicles. And we have come to the end of the question. Thank you for watching and I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to check out more videos by us, do click the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye!